Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to put an image on top of an image in paint.net. Okay, so first off, boot up paint.net and just so I'm my tabs over here. Okay, so your main window is going to be your layers. So this window over here on your right. Okay, so first you need to open up the image you want to use or images. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go open with paint.net. Okay, so I've opened that image up there and also I'm going to open up this other image in paint.net. Okay, so once you've got your two images in paint.net, first things first, go to the main image that you want to drop the image onto. Okay, so. First, as you can see, I've got my background layer, which is this image here. Okay, so first I'm going to add a bit of text on top of that. Okay, and I'm going to make the text white. Okay, so I'm just going to write computer sluggish. Um, yeah, let's go down one and choose. Tutorial. Okay. So let's just make that slightly bigger so we can see it. Computer sluggish tutorial. Let's make that bold, nice and clear. Okay. Maybe white's not the best for this. So let's go have a nice little blue there. Okay, so as you can see, when I just place that text, it's actually attached to my background image there. Okay, so obviously you don't really want to do this. So this time I will now go back. So in my history up here, I'm going to undo that. And this time I'm going to create a new layer. So as you can see, I've got layer two here. So now I'm going to select my text tool again, and I'm just going to quickly put computer sluggish, and then tutorial. Okay. And now when I click off, as you can see, it's on my layer two. So now I can select layer two, and I can still move my text. Okay. If I'd done it before, it would have moved the whole image, the background image. Okay. So, yeah, that's just adding a bit of text on there. Right. So now I'm going to, let's just put that about there. Um, okay. So I'm just going to quickly write that out again. So computer, oh, hold on. All right. Okay, I don't want it on this layer. I want to create another layer. Let's put that below this layer. So now it's going to sit underneath that text. So I want new text, and this time I want to go black. And I'm going to go computer sluggish. And then it's going to be about there. Tutorial. Okay, so if I drag this over here, as you can see now, it's behind my text. Okay, so I can kind of add a nice little, let's make sure it lines up. So, mm. about there. So about there, I'd say. So I've got a nice little black shadow. Okay, so now that brings out that text, as you can see. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my other tab here, and I've got my gun. So we're on background one here. Okay, so I'm going to go with, let's see, yeah, 
I reckon a nice shotgun. Okay, so now, obviously, if I just select that shotgun and go Control C, so copy, and go back to this, remember to create a new layer again. Okay, so let's keep those two layers together. Right, so if I create a new layer again, so I've selected layer 4, as you can see on the right here. If I go Control V, as you can see, it's, you know, it's taking the white background with us over here. So we do not want that white background. So now I'm going to delete that layer, and I'm going to recreate a layer. But this time, instead of copying it, I'm going to get my magic wand, and I'm going to select. So as you can see, it's pretty accurate. It's selected my shotgun. So now I'm going to go delete. And now you should end up with a transparent background like that. Okay, and just delete it now because there's a bit of white. Okay. Just delete out the little white bits. Okay, that should be okay. Right, so now if I select my shotgun, so I've got a nice transparent background there. Okay, so I'm going to select my shotgun and go Control and C. And go back to my other picture and make sure I'm on layer 4. And now I'm going to go Control and V. And as you can see, my shotgun now is transparent. Okay, so I'm going to rotate my shotgun. So it's pretty straight ish right and now I'm gonna hold shift so hold your shift button down on your keyboard and then select the corner and it locks the size so it don't go all funny so if I don't hold shift as you can see now it's gone all messed up okay so let's just go control Z again so hold shift when resizing the image and we're just going to put that about there. And there you go. That is how you put an image on top of another image. So I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope it helped. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials. If you've got a request, feel free to send me a message on YouTube.